In this session, I'll be showing how a half mc squared is going to be equal to 3 over 2 kb capital T coming up. Now, I'm going to, of course, the question requires me to use p is equal to a third times alpha, which is times density times v squared, and the equation of the ideal gas, which is pv is equal to nrt. I'm going to use these two expressions to try and arrive at this conclusion and according to our question they're telling us that kb is going to be equal to r over na now kb so happens to be the boltzmann's constant which is going to be equal to r the molar gas constant divide that by avogadro's number this constant which we are calling boltzmann constant was named after ludwig boltzmann it's denoted by small k like that or just k with the subscript b just like that and it basically relates the average kinetic energy of a particle in a gas with the temperature of the gas and of course it is given by r over na and where r of course is uh, the molar gas constant and n is avogadro's number so let's get started with solving the question so i have two expressions i'm supposed to be using this one which is p is equal to a third times density times c squared and I have this one right here the ideal gas equation which is PV is equal to nRT so um, I can look at this as in my equation 1 PV is equal to nRT so if I can express this thing here if I can break it down like we have been doing in our previous sessions if I can break down this expression for kinetic pressure and I make PV the subject of the formula in this expression also and then I equate the two PVs then somehow I'll be able to end up to this so that's the route I'm going to take so this will be like our equation 1 PV is equal to nRT that's our equation 1 so now uh, from this one we shall extract our equation 2 so we are going to break this down in a way that we have PV as the subject of this expression and then we shall substitute one equation into another so from this one here we should, uh, p of course is going to be equal to a third times um, the density we know density is equal to mass which is we, we've called capital m over volume times c squared then we shall go ahead um, and say p is going to be equal to a third times mass of course capital m which is mass of the whole of, of the gas can be broken down into small m which is mass of every individual particle times capital n which so happens to be the total number of the gas molecules now since uh, we are dealing with uh, one mole of a gas we shall call this n a which is avogadro's number or avogadro's constant because if we are looking at one mole of a gas according to avogadro's law one mole of a gas is going to contain 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 something like that 23 particles so the number of particles that are contained in one mole of a gas is what is giving us making us make call this avogadro's number divide that by v times c squared of course so now this is going to become when we multiply v on both sides here times v there times v right there so that this v goes with that we remain here with pv is going to be equal to a third times m times n Avogadro's number times c squared so you realize that now we've come up with an expression where we have pv as the subject of the formula we have pv right here that is our equation 2 we have pv as the subject of the formula here we have pv as the subject of the formula right there so we can equate this equation to that equation since this is pv that is pv so it means that this is equal to that so we equate this part of the equation with that part of the equation and we find how we arrive to that so that's what we're going to do next so in our equation one we know that pv is going to be equal to nrt and our second equation we know that pv is going to be equal to this a third m n a c squared this is our equation one this is our equation two so it means that this is equal to that so let's get to equation two here this is a third cap, uh, small m n a is going to be uh, times c squared is going to give us uh, n r t cap small n times r times t like that so what are we aiming at here 
we want to make sure that this a half mc squared is going to be equal to 3 over 2 kbt so let's start rearranging this thing uh, at this side of the equation we have m we have c squared so in simple terms we have m here we have c squared so let's get rid of everything every other thing that is net not m not c squared so it means that the 3 we multiply 3 on both sides so that 3 gets away we multiply times 3 there times 3 there so that this and that go you remain with m times a times c squared is going to be equal to 3 n r t so after doing that we get rid of this n a because it is not this side of the equation so we divide both sides by n a by n a this goes with that that is avogadro's number we've cancelled out it remains with m c squared is going to be equal to um 3 n r t over n a but when you look at our question still they're telling that that Boltzmann constant k subscript b is equal to capital r over n a so if you realize that in this side of our equation right here we have capital r over n a right there so it means that our equation is going to become m c squared is going to be equal to three times n times r over n a which so happens to be k b times t what we're remaining with we have a half right so we shall multiply a half on both sides to get this a half this way so that's what we do here we multiply a half on both sides times a half times a half so this becomes a half m c squared is going to be equal to three times a half is going to be three over two times n times boltzmann's constant times t like that now have we proven our question our question says that we're supposed to show that a half m c squared which is right here a half m c squared is going to be equal to 3 over 2 which we have here as 3 over 2 times kb which is kb times capital t which is t now the value of n here of course we know that the value of n represents the number of moles now remember even our basis for calling this n uh, avogadro's law was because we are dealing with one mole of an ideal gas and so since we're dealing with one mole of an ideal gas it means our value of n is going to be one and so if our value of n here is 1, it means this n is 1, we arrive at this expression finally. That therefore, the value of n is 1 since we are dealing with 1 mole of the gas. Therefore, uh, uh, the expression is... So at the end of the day, we've been able to show that a half mc squared is equal to 3 over 2 kb, which is just that. This brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe. For Kisembo Academy, this is Anwar Brangakuramia helping you manifest excellence.